Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, it is so great to have you. I'm Antoinette, a New Zealander living in Germany. So if you watch my videos, you will already know that I currently have my mum staying from New Zealand. She is staying for a total of 10 weeks and she has almost 3 weeks left. So we have just been having the most incredible time together. I have been enjoying every single moment. Not only do I get to spend quality time with my mum, I also get to see Germany through her eyes. I've been living in Germany for so many years now, so life has just become so normal to me. And I sometimes forget about all of the little things that make Germany really special and unique. In my last video, I talked about some normal, everyday German things that really Really surprised my mum and in this video today I'm actually going to be talking about five things that my mum loves about Germany. I was hoping for her to be in this video with me and she's a little bit camera shy, she is not really a social media YouTube kind of person but she did agree to be in a video with me a couple of months ago which I will link in my description below. She talked about some of the things she loves about Germany in that video. So before I get into it I just wanted to mention for those of you who don't know that I live in Lower Franconia which is in the south of Germany it is technically part of Bavaria so whatever I talk about is going to be based on this area of Germany in the south I am well aware that German culture varies throughout Germany so in no particular order something that my mum absolutely loves about Germany and she points this out to me almost every single day is the fact that she feels there is a real peacefulness and serenity about life in Germany we usually go for a walk every day and she always comments on how peaceful the surroundings are. People in general are very respectful here, they stick to the rules, they don't go around talking in really loud voices, they are just very respectful of others in general. I said to mum it's probably just because we're living in a small town and last time she stayed with us in Germany we lived in an even smaller village and mum said no it's not the fact that you're in a small town because whenever she goes to bigger cities she feels the same kind of serenity and just strength stress-free kind of feeling. A few weeks ago we had a girl shopping day with mum and my daughter Amelia and my mother-in-law. We went to Würzburg which is the closest sort of bigger city. Commented on the fact that it just felt so calm and peaceful in the city centre. Even though it was absolutely packed, it was a Saturday afternoon, there were so many people there but there was just sort of this calmness about the atmosphere in the city and she said it had to do with the fact that people People were just so respectful of each other and people weren't talking in really loud voices. Another day we went to Rothenburg and there was this medieval festival so the town was absolutely packed and it was the same thing. Crowds of people but everyone is just so respectful of each other and not yelling and screaming and there was just a nice relaxed vibe and atmosphere and that's something mum absolutely loves. Mum just said that since she's been in Germany she feels so relaxed and her stress levels have gone down which makes me really happy to hear. Okay so number two something else mum loves about Germany is the ice cream and cake culture here which I have talked about in previous videos but mum mentioned this and she wrote this on my list of things to talk about. So it's the beginning of summer here and the weather is perfect Perfect. We have had days and days of just beautiful blue sky, sunshine, mid-twenties weather and we have been out a lot just enjoying the sunshine. Mum pointed out that there are just so many cute little ice cream parlours in every village, town, city. There are so many ice cream parlours and it's something she thinks is really fun and just really nice about German culture. So on the weekend, even during the week, you will often see people that just chilled out in the sunshine, enjoying an ice cream or a nice piece of cake, taking things slow, enjoying the moment, enjoying the company of friends and family. I mean we do have cake and ice cream in New Zealand but it's not such a big part of our culture and in Germany I would say this is definitely a huge part of German culture. Also like the cake and coffee thing, mum is not really a coffee drinker but she loves the cakes. I know in every region of Germany they have their own individual traditional cakes but 
mum loves the cakes in our area of Germany. We have lots of like berry cakes with gelatine and a little bit of cream and something she loves about the cakes is the fact that they are not too sweet. In New Zealand we also have delicious bakery food but a lot of it is very very sweet. It has a lot of sugar, a lot of frosting and in Germany you don't often see frosting on cake. A lot of the cakes here have almost a sour taste from the berries or the rhubarb and apple and mum just loves this type of cake. And yeah the ice cream as I mentioned in previous videos we have a lot of Italian style ice cream here. These little ice cream parlors serve that style of ice cream with a little bit of a German twist and mum really enjoys that type of ice cream and you get like just a little scoop. Obviously you can order more but normally mum just gets one little scoop and that is enough for her. Okay so number three something else that mum commented on which she really likes is the fact that many Germans are very casual dresses but at the same time they dress nicely. So in New Zealand we also dress really casually in general but some New Zealanders tend to be a little bit sloppy with how they dress. They'll walk around in just like sloppy track pants, jandals, flip-flops, bare feet, that kind of thing. Um, but in Germany people, you know, they dress casually but still look nice and they still take pride in how they look. Mum said she doesn't constantly feel like she has to dress up to the nines to impress people. She can just wear a casual pair of shorts and a t-shirt and feel very comfortable here. Some friends recently invited us to a local wine event and mum was thinking, oh no, what should I wear? She was like a little bit worried that she may not be dressed up enough and when she got there she was just like, oh, I totally fit in, it's fine. And she also commented on the fact that many Germans, like most Germans, do not wear a lot of makeup and they don't overly style their hair and mum is a very natural person in that way. She barely wears any makeup. I never remember mum being overly styled and wearing a lot of makeup. She always looks amazing but in a very natural way and that's how a lot of other German women are and mum really likes this. She just likes the naturalness and that kind of quiet confidence that the women have here in Germany and she feels really comfortable here in that sense. Okay so number four something else mum loves about Germany is that she feels Germany is a very safe country in general and she did talk about this in the video we made together, the most recent video we made together. She mentioned to me the other day that since she's been in Germany she's only seen like two police cars or maybe three at the most and in New Zealand you see police cars all the time and you hear sirens and there is quite a high crime rate in New Zealand compared to Germany from what she has noticed. I remember she used to be a little bit sort of nervous, a bit freaked out about the freedom that many German parents give their children here but since she's been here and she has spent a good amount of time in Germany she has really chilled out with that type of thing. She doesn't freak out anymore when the kids are off at the playground with their friends for a couple of hours because she just senses that at least in our neighborhood it's just very very safe. We have quite a close-knit neighborhood and everyone is watching out for each other. She just really likes that feeling of security and community that we have here. Also a few times I haven't been able to find my house key and we've gone out for walks and I haven't even locked the door which I don't recommend and at first mum was like freaking out. She was like oh my goodness we can't leave without locking the door and I was just like no it's fine and we'd go for a walk and come back and nobody had come into the house and then the longer mum's in Germany she's realized that it's pretty unlikely somebody is going to come and rob our home and yeah like I said I don't recommend doing that but we feel safe enough to not even lock our door. Mum said that in New Zealand she would not dream of leaving her house unlocked she'd be too scared that somebody would burgle her and in Germany she doesn't have that same feeling which I found really interesting. Also our kids have left Left their scooters in front of our house for months on end. They've been too lazy to put them away in our shed and mum's always like they need to put their scooters away they're gonna get stolen and I'm like mum they have been out there for months 
and nobody has touched them. Okay, so last but not least, number five, this is kind of related to my last point, but something else that mum loves about Germany and something she has been pointing out to me, this has to do with the fact that Germans in general seem to be really trustworthy and they follow the rules and respect each other. So an example of this is when we go to the playground, you will often see a box filled with kids' sand toys. These toys just belong to the playground, so whenever kids come to the playground, they can borrow the toys and play with them. Mum just could not believe this concept. She said that if this was in New Zealand, if there was a box filled with sand toys that people could borrow, they would be gone, they would be stolen. And in Germany, people do not steal the sand toys, and there's just like an unwritten rule that you just come and borrow the sand toys, play with them, and put them back. Also, something else Mum noticed is that you will sometimes see things like firewood neatly stacked at the front of somebody's house. Mum said if that was in New Zealand, the firewood would be gone. Like somebody would come in the night and take the firewood for themselves. And in Germany, you just don't see this. People wouldn't dream of stealing that firewood. So yeah, mum was really impressed by that. Mum just finds this amazing. She's a super honest person herself. She wouldn't dream of stealing anything. But a lot of people are not honest and she loves the fact that in general Germans seem to be very honest and trustworthy and they stick to the rules. This makes for a really peaceful and well-functioning society. Okay guys, so I have come to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I would love you to consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Feel free to connect with me on Instagram. And I will see you again really soon. Bye!